Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Adobe Typekit within Adobe Illustrator. So jump into Illustrator, and what we wanna do, we wanna have our character window open. So you might already have it on your toolbars, but if you don't, go to the top left corner, click on Window, go all the way down to Type, and there should be a drop down. And you wanna see, you wanna click the first one, which is Character. You can see you've got some other windows, which is cool too, but we just want the character. The shortcut is Control T. So click on that, and you should get this window up. To get all these options here, you can just click the hamburger menu on the top right and just click show options. So you can see if it says show options and then it should open that up. And if you wanna hide it, you can just click hide options. So pretty much what we wanna do is we wanna access our fonts. Make sure that you're signing with your Creative Cloud subscription or else this won't work and make sure that you're logged in. So I'm gonna click this drop down menu on the first section to select our fonts. And you can see I'm gonna sort of move that up a bit you can see we have this menu. So you can see there's a lot of features here and I'm just gonna go and start with the top. So you can see it's selected on fonts and I've got all these filters. So if I click on this little funnel here, you can see that there's a drop down menu. It allows us to select a font based on certain classifications and properties. So you can see here, the first one is a sans serif. So if I click that, it's only gonna show me all the fonts that are sans serifs. So keep in mind, if you're downloading free fonts, they might not have all the metadata within the font and you know, Adobe might mix it up, but you know, the ones that you purchase that are you know proper ones or you know, generally a lot of free ones are all right, then it should read it as a serif or a different um, you know, font style. So maybe I want serif, you can see there, it'll start showing me. So you can see this one is not a, a serif, that's a free font, so you can see it's not reading it in an illustrator. So just keep that in mind, but it's not really a big deal. So you can see here, you have got slab serif, you've got script fonts, some black letter ones, that's a mono, mono type one, display fonts or brush fonts, but you can see some of them are mixed up, which is totally cool, handwritten, and this one's decorative, decorative or display. Super cool. So I chose all my fonts there and I can start searching by properties. So you can see what we have here. We've got thickness. We've got width. We've also got, you know, thick and thins. And you can see here, um, you know, the different uh, shapes with the, with the terminals and, and the, you know, different style, which it doesn't really, you know, work. It's not reading it properly here, which it doesn't matter. You've got, you know, all caps. So headline fonts and like normal fonts with, you know, regular and bold and different styles. And you've also got lining numbers and non-lining numbers. So I don't know if you know, but non-lining numbers are numbers that um, are not necessarily on the baseline, but lining numbers are numbers that pretty much work with the baseline and they're adjusted to a certain X height. Um, but non-lining numbers, you can see there. So yeah, if I select these, it's gonna start showing me certain fonts with those you know, parameters. So you can see that sometimes there's no fonts with those certain parameters that I want. So you can see I've made a selection here. So you can see I've really refined that and I've and it's got these two fonts here, which is cool. So if I select it, I can go in here and you can see all the type styles there. Which is pretty cool. So once again, I'll go back into the menu and you can see how all these fonts, it's only showing me these two fonts. So I've got to go back to the filter or I can click clear all in the corner there. So you can see if I go back to my filters, you can see there's a button that says clear all. I can click it there or if I click on my filter, I can click clear all and I'll get rid of all those parameters that I set and it'll reset it. You can also click on this little star here and that's going to show me my favorites. So you can see I pick my favorites there that I like and it's gonna put that in a menu. Pretty cool. You can also see the recently added ones. So it's gonna filter by recently added. I don't know what these ones are. Sometimes it's just random. And the fourth icon you see with the little cloud, that's pretty much all the new type kit font syncs from Adobe Fonts. So you can see the ones with the little cloud on the right here as well. So you can see these are all from Adobe Kit synced. Super cool. So if I wanna go ahead and change my font, I can go and just select it like that. Really easy to do. I like this font. Bump the track, the kerning. Looking fresh. Cool. 
So another cool thing is that you can also select the different type that you want to read it. So you can see how it says mustard. It's just basing it off my word that I have here. I can select the text and click typography. And now you can see it's showing typography. If I want to see that sentence, I can put the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I can start reading it. So I can start to see the font um, in the actual you know, sentence or a word to see what it looks like. And even numbers here as well. So if I'm looking for a peculiar style, then I can do it that way. Really easy. Another cool thing is here is you can change the sizing. So you can see I'm on the larger size. I can drop that down like this. Really easy. So cool. Those are the, how you use it within Illustrator. Maybe I want to add some new ones. What I can do is go online. So I can jump online on fonts.adobe.com and click on fonts. So I've logged into my account. And what I can do now is I can search all different fonts here. You know, I can type search if I'm looking for certain fonts. And I can once again search by properties. I can search for headings or, you know, paragraphs. I can search for slab serif. And all these ones I can sync straight into my Illustrator. So say I just I like one of these fonts or I can go to the next page. There's one that I like. Yeah, this one looks type of cool. Ultra. So what I'll do, I'll activate the font. Font activation is successful. And you can, it tells you a bit about the licensing, etc. Press OK. So now you can see on my creative cloud is popping up. So if I jump back into Illustrator. So now it's loaded in. I can go look for Ultra. Select it. And now I have my new font right here. Sometimes what you have to do, if you click on the menu, you just click Reset Panel. Because sometimes it, it takes a while. Make sure you don't select the type. But sometimes it doesn't sync right away. So you might have to reset panel. Also, you might have to close and open the document or close Illustrator and open it. But it should load up um, straight away within within a minute um, after you've synced the font. So just keep that in mind as well. So that's how easy it is to use TypeKit. Another cool thing as well, if I go back on there, you can look for font packs. And it will literally sync a whole pack of fonts for you. So look, this first one, Productivity Infographics Pack. I can click that. And it's going to have all these fonts here. So it's got, you know, four or five fonts in there. And I can click activate all fonts. And it's going to install all these fonts right into my Creative Cloud. And then I can just jump in Illustrator and start using it. So it's a super useful tool, especially if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. Make sure you're using it, you know, instead of like going around looking free fonts. You can just use those fonts. And a lot of them you can use for commercial and personal projects. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.